Alright guys, in the last video we just did the variables in PHP. So next is like we will be discussing about some string functions. So for that, let's go and create a new file. So I'll be calling it strings.php and you can call whatever you want. So to start with a PHP, you always need to put PHP tags and whatever the code you want to write should go in between. So this is the video about the strings, strings and their functions. So let's get started. So first one, if I wanna get some, uh, let's define a string first of all. So let's say my message, and this simple thing will be the conventional, traditional hello world example, hello world. So first function is to get the length of the string so we'll simply write echo and that is str len function it gives you uh, about the length of the hello world my message so if I if I open this page on my browser, start my website, PHP Essentials, strings, not PHP. So here it gives me around 12 characters and first we let me print it out. I'll call my message in h1 tags. And as you know in single in double quotes we can use raw variables directly. So my string is dollar my message and if I just echo out now I see if I reload my string is hello world and it has 12 characters in that so it has been echoed out over here so next function is to count the words to count the words and the string we have function for that and I just want to get I just want to give some line breaks in there so here I'll put br tag if I save it and here I want to get something called echo str words word count and then you can pass your variable over here. So my variable is dollar my message. And if I save and if I reload this page, I have two words there. It takes as a space as a delimiter because it will count the words in between there. So that's basically about, about uh, to count the words in the message. Uh, next function is to reverse a string. So to reverse a string, we can simply write we can use str rev function and which we will pass our string and that is let me give this break line back real quick and let's paste it over here and then I will simply pass our mess my message variable here and if I save and hit reload here I have word uh, whatever it is it is around like we are getting a reverse string of this thing so next one is like a uh, real quick I want to get go through some more example so search for a specific text within a string that is the next function how we are gonna get a text whatever we have in that string so let's see how we can do that search for specific text within string and I wanna just get something like echo first year and for that function str pause str position it will give you the position of the string which we will pass so first it takes it accepts two parameters in that so first one will be the variable or the string whatever we want to search in so my message is the first variable and the second parameter is the string whatever we are going to search for so in this case i want to search for word so if i search for word 
And if I save, and let me copy this again and paste it over here to give the line break. And if I search it, and if I, it gives me six. So this means that hello takes five characters and the sixth position we can find zero one two three four and five on the sixth position we can find this word character whatever we have passed in there then next one is like i will go for uh to replace uh text within a string so like i wanna it will it as from its name as from its uh, my instruction uh, it is specified that we are to change something in the string which which is existing in that string so let's write this out str underscore replace so make sure you are php version 7 because in version 5 we do not find those things so it will take first argument and that will be whatever the, uh, the word we are going to change and the second argument will be the to which we are gonna change like I wanna replace this word with something else so hello uh, let's say hello code book and I wanna replace this thing from the string and, and I'll pass my string over here so my message is my string and let's see what we get this out so hello from codebook we are getting hello codebook instead of word this has been replaced by codebook so remember this takes two parameters first one is the the first set of a string which we are gonna replace and then second one with which we are gonna replace with so i'll go through some other functions that is like uh, which will be useful in programming and you can go through always you are always open to go to w3 schools a website where you can pull the things out and go to your own string string stuff but I'll take those examples which are very usual and you will be using it most of the time so first one is like that is trim function so um, trim function and let's see what it gives so let's say I define a something like email and you have something in which user if some spaces and then gives Mariano Rain 09 at gmail.com and then also gives some spaces and you want to just and because this will be not a proper way to insert the data in the database at the time which we'll be covering in future videos so to you have to firstly you have to trim this thing so to trim that thing we can simply say email equal to trim and uh, here I'll pass the variable email uh, let me make this something else trimmed email and if I echo this out and let me give a real break line break real quick and if I echo this out first one will be like what we are getting as a separate email simple email and how we are getting as an email email and let's see what we are gonna get so first one is also giving the narendra moran or in 09 but it has extra space in there see it has extra space in there but if we go for the second one this gives you the space uh, this takes all the skit rates of these spaces because at the time there will be often times when we are getting some user input from the, some form then user might give any fishy values which you, which is not accepted to put it into the database so firstly for that you had need to use this trim function str to upper and str to lower so to convert string into uppercase we will simply write to convert a string into uppercase and that is simply well, let me make this line break first here echo out str to str to upper and this function takes that variable and let's say my variable is 
my message again so I'll simply my message and if I simply paste uh, reload we are getting hello world in capitals the next one is to convert string into lower case so we simply write str to lower and if I save and I hit uh, let me give a line break real quick control Z and if I reload we are getting all hello world in the small yeah, small scale. then we need something called to convert word string into hashes so to convert a string into hashes line break first so echo and we'll simply see let's see SHA1 and that is we are gonna convert something into something so let's see my message if I save and reload over here and we see something random so this is a hashing hashing basically is useful in uh, saving your passwords into database where uh, user where no one can access that password only the user knows and this is type of uh, encoding of the encoding of your variable so we know that this hash is hello world but this will be saved in a database as this and at a time of so this is basically example of two-way hashing then if I paste VR again and if I put some echo there and that is like a crypt crypt CRI decrypt function and that is let's see what it does and if I save and if I echo it out this also gives some encryption encryption which is like we cannot access that thing very easily so these things are quite useful in saving your passwords in the database then we have something called uh, one more thing that is md5 md5 inquiry um, for that we can simply write md5 and we can pass over a string in here it's my message and if i save and if i reload there we'll get this thing something some fishy value over here which no one can understand except the computer or that too after decoding so if I reload this thing and put this out this is a md5 thing so this is the way where we are gonna store the strings and then we cannot decode them back so these things are quite useful in encryption and in these are the core concepts which we'll be working on later so hope you like the video and give this video a thumbs up if you like the content and subscribe to my channel to get stay tuned as well as if you want to help me you can share our videos to guide those who want to get started in coding and want to learn so thank you guys and happy coding